Alright guys, we're back playing another episode of Close Combat Last Stand Arnhem. The last one we defended West Arnhem once again from uh, Comfort Group Bruins. And now we're going to deal with Comfort Group Nolk at uh, our drop zone, drop zone L, or landing zone L at the uh, Ioana Hoof Farm. Uh, this is at night, once again, midnight, and uh, let's see how it goes. Uh, no support uh, afforded to us, no air support, obviously, they didn't operate at night. Uh, and no mortar barrages available either. Uh, this is a regular uh, Wehrmacht infantry team. Pretty well equipped. We've got uh, machine gun teams. These light mach these infantry teams with light machine guns attached to them are very good. Um, heavy machine gun team. These things are very good too. Yeah, he's he's pretty dangerous. He's no uh, no weakling. Uh, Seventeen pounder gun. I'm going to put him back in reserve because uh, I'm not going to need it. And I really don't feel like risking him. I might need him later. Um, as well as this Piat and Flamethrower deal. Uh, I think I'm better, better served by another Brennan rifle team. And we're going to put... Uh, my map look like yeah yeah it's been a while since I've seen this one right. I'm thinking uh, I'm thinking actually let's add one more Vickers lots of mortars ah, we're gonna do that we're gonna we're gonna make our second infantry uh, squad or company rather a a, uh, a platoon is what I meant to say a uh, weapons platoon. Give him another Vickers and another mortar. Oh yeah, let's do that. Okay, this is perhaps less than brilliant but I feel comfortable doing this uh, this is kinda what you would do on a drop zone get as many heavy weapons in there cause you gotta you gotta hold it that's your lifeline so you see the parachutes kinda folded up in the trees here that's what those are meant to be uh, why there's one in the building he must have still had it attached to him when he was like going in the building Whoever drug that in there. Uh, I was kind of talking on the last episode. This gets a little gamey when you're you can defend a narrow deployment like that. Um, this is much trickier terrain though. These hedgerows are good cover, and so is this tree line. I'm not comfortable leaving guys out up here feel like that's too dangerous um, so I believe yeah, I'm not really sure I gotta get guys on this wall I figure and then most of it the hot you know this is gonna be the hot spot here is this center this uh, uh, Papin de Lamb or however we're is it control T to remove trees yeah Papin de Lamb on um, yeah, so I might spend uh, more time on the de deploy phase here than I normally would. Uh, my feeling is he's, he's going to want to come in these woods because this is a good enlargement. So we're going to deny that to him. Vickers team up high. 
Always get your machine guns up high where they can do some damage. How's this line of fire? These trees are a bit blocking. Eh, this is not actually a good to spot. I believe I'll leave that there though. Just uh just in case he does break through. Uh, my mortar teams are gonna be situated down here. Uh, and we're just kind of counting on him not being able to advance to that that general area. This guy's going to go to ambush. Probably a vicar's out here on ambush. He's going to want to take this Rinkum Heath uh, exit. So we're going to deny him that. And again, pretty pretty liberal usage of the of the ambushes uh, here versus defense because we don't we want to give him a bit of a chance to present himself. I think Bren team in this building. It's a stone building, pretty good cover. Not great, and this whole arrangement also leaves me pretty uh, pretty weak. Uh, I will we're gonna make him we're gonna make him bleed a little bit if he tries for the uh two palp and dalsh or however you say that exit uh, again I'm spreading the line pretty thin I think everybody's everybody's set up the only team not is these guys and I'm pretty tempted to leave them. I was going to say, I would leave them, I'm going to leave them with the mortars, just in case. Put them on defend. So they're all, of course my mortar teams will be probably the first in action. Let's go ahead and drop a couple rounds in there, just to shake them up a little bit, huh? And this is the uh, fourth para. This is their first uh, first blood. These guys are already taking fire, so they're not uh, not concealed all that well. Let's get them in, get them firing here. Why are my mortars not firing? Is what I want to know. hesitant I guess we're gonna spread the love around on these two just kinda nope we're gonna concentrate it because we can't we can't let that MG42 keep going and put illumination right here So these guys firing on them should force them into the woods, which will kind of freak them out. Team, these guys need to die. These guys can't see. Can I direct fire? No. That's a machine gun right there, that team. That guy.
Alright, how are we on ammo? We're gonna cease fire for now. This grenade, this uh, mortar team right, is not going to be able to operate when they're under fire like that. It is very dangerous for my guys because it puts them under direct mortar fire, but we got to we got to do it basically. This rifle team suffering pretty hard. The Vickers is in his in his bad A spot, but they're not great. So I don't like to use like direct fire commands. Gosh darn it! Except when, uh, except when they're targeting like less dangerous units to them. There's a machine gun in here, and I don't know where he's at because they can't see him. But next time he fires a burst, I want to put fire on him. Just to kind of prevent him from uh, continuing to uh, cause me harm. He's, he's, he's done some damage. Wow, these guys got snuck up on pretty good. Again, that's a, that's a heavy stack, but that's not an easy uh, position to go after. He surrendered. Okay. Where is he? Where's it? Mortar got to. Now he's in the same damn spot. And shoot. Move, just move. fire yeah this is uh, it's again been very costly for him Must be losing his mind a little bit if he's advancing with a machine gun team. It by surrendering. That was probably wise on his part. So we can pretty much no longer blunt enemy attacks with those mortars. But he doesn't have much left either. Open 
One last one. Drop it in there. Actually, he's got one one last one. <laughs> so now we've got ten minutes just sitting. Ah, oh, there's a guy right there. Getting a little brave here, but we're gonna try it. He's got a guy in there. Move completed. Redeployed. It's really disconcerting to me how my fresh infantry units are already running out of ammo. Like these guys are just out, uh, just you know, brand new in there. Oh, that was good direct fire. Okay, that's good. Uh, sneaky, sneaky through there, maybe. A little bit of, a little bit of gaminess to that too. I'll admit it. Again, you know, that road's an important objective, but it's not, you know, you wouldn't necessarily send two teams to get killed just to go, like, touch that flag, because there is no flag. There is no trigger that ends this fight Sir, in real life. Other than a lack of will, and of course he's, uh, he's dead, basically. So he's got that mortar team still hanging out there. And I think they might be the last element. So we're just going to freaking rush them. Stem part of that, that staccato. In position. Okay, that was not his last team, but they're they're hurting. There was one other guy I saw running around with a machine gun, and I didn't see him get killed. Uh, if he's set up in a good spot, he could actually kill these two teams just by himself. But uh, hopefully, that's not the case. Doesn't look like the case. He's probably set up in a hedge or something down here or in this building. But it doesn't matter because we've uh, we've captured that and uh, ended the battle. So, thanks for joining me. That's this episode of Close Combat, Last Stand Arnhem. And, uh, boy, is this getting to be a bit of a meat grinder. 70, uh, 7 enemy KIA, 28 wounded, 3 captured. I lost six men killed and six men wounded. So, brutal, brutal stuff. See you on the next episode. Bye.